welcome back to another Good Game Nation video where we bring you everything TCG. My name is Sam and I'm back here with another One Piece episode and we are covering Baloo for the Limited Battle series. That is the tournaments that are coming up this weekend and for the rest of that month. Uh, the Limited Battle series is going to be a very specific format. We're only going to be able to use the starter decks that we got from our pre-release and the very few promos that were released. So very few cards, very few options, but we're able to combine starter decks, so we have some options here. We're going to be covering over uh, what we think the deck is going to be looking like, some of the options that we have, uh, what the matchups are going to look like, and what we think of blue overall. Uh, if you're looking for any specific coverage of individual cards, we already went over this in our last series for the pre-release. I'll link that right here. Go ahead and check that video out if you haven't, and come back to this one. All right, guys, I'm going to flash over what we think uh, decks are going to look like from Dev. Dev is going to be linked down below. We use this for all of our deck profile videos, and boom, this is what we uh, think the uh, Crocodile deck is going to look like. With four counts, you're going to get more options. You're going to be able to play... Uh, Four Sent Tomorrows, super, super important. Uh, it's your main tempo play. It's going to be very important. Uh, you get to run more Dofis. Uh, Dofi doesn't have any counter plays at the moment in this format. Uh, Kaido pops six drops. That's about it. Uh, but Dofi gets a target seven drop kid. Uh, your Kings, your Mirror Match Dofis. So Dofi, super important for this uh, format. And it's definitely Blue's way to win. Uh, Dofi plus Crocodile. Leader effect are going to be very, very important for those matchups. Um, you get a couple run, a couple more teaches, and then you get access to this really cool promo crocodile. Uh, he is a four drop 1k co uh, combo, and he gains blocker with the dawn. This is really cool. You're able to grab this with Moria. Um, it's just another option. Blue needs to slow down the game. Uh, red and green can be very, very active very early on, so you want to have options with that. Uh, Jimbe again, very important. Your Vanillas, your Jimbe, your Edward Weevil, and your Pacifista. This is probably the most important deck for Vanillas, considering Pacifista gets played through Sentumaru. So your your uh, your Vanillas are going to be key. Going to be key. Uh, we're looking at matchups. Your mirror match is going to be volatile. Let me get that out of the way right now. Um, they're probably going to be playing something very similar. Probably a high count on Dofi. If they're not playing a high count on Dofi. Um, your Dofi is going to run amok. He's going to run amok. Um, beware of Sobbles. Sobbles is going to be a really annoying card. Um, if they Sobble your Dofi, just continue playing your Dofi. Um, they have to respond with either another Sobbles or Dofi, which eats up most of their turn. So keep playing that game. Keep playing that game. Um, for Purple, Purple is going to be a very annoying matchup because you have to get around a 9-drop Kaido eventually. Um, you're not playing incredibly aggressively. You're probably going to kill them before they play it, so they're probably going to get one on the board. Um, Dofi is a great answer to King. If they play King and you can play Dofi, absolutely do it. Uh, that's a huge tempo play for you. Um, Sentomaru is key. Uh, make sure you're uh, Mulligan in general. You're looking for your Sentomaru. If you have Sentomaru, that's a good hand already, uh, so keep that in mind. Um, but it's going to be volatile as well. Your purple matchup is unideal, unfortunately, because of that. Uh, you don't have great answers for that uh that kaido and since we deal with early pressure very well your late game pressure is where you can get taken advantage of if you can't bounce them with dofi and uh, if they can play nine drop kaido on you uh you have to either a invest heavily into removing it or just going for face going for game probably your only two options um your green and red matchup uh, ideally together are going to be um probably losing matchups uh you have to draw very well that's probably the key here you, you have to have sent tomorrow uh red and green tempo so well they're all drops on curve are going to be very very powerful uh cards that are going to be buoyant uh your drakes that drake is going to be annoying that three drop zoro you have options to remove them or at least send them back to your hand with teach um you can always bump this teach count up to four you can lower a jimbe if you want um, I like the 3-3 three and three spread. They're good options to remove both. Um, but Zoro and Drake, they're going to be very annoying cards for you to remove if we do not have uh, Martial Teach or, hypothetically, a Dofi to remove. Um, so keep those two cards in mind. Um, so those are those decks, are if they Temple well, uh, which is easy for them, um, it's going to be a nightmare. Uh, but if we have Sent Tomorrow, it gives us an option to keep up. Uh, let's not attack with our Centomarus. Let's protect him at all costs. Uh, he's going to be a key factor for Blue to win games. 
uh, so important that if you don't draw them, it makes your matchups so much worse. Your matchups with Centimar are probably positive. Um, maybe not against Purple, because uh, Purple could always draw the uh, the works. Um, but your matchup for Red and Green should be positive if we can have Centimar in our starting hand. It's probably closer to 60-40. Uh, Red has a ton of rush, so keep that in mind. Uh, they have ways to get around blockers as well, so bouncing to hand isn't very ideal. We need to remove. We need to remove. Uh, green, they're going to protect their Drake. You have to remove X Drake. Green without X Drake is um, a very mediocre deck, so remove X Drake. They should invest into defending him, so we have to be successful in removing him. Um... Those are our matchups. Opening hands, again, you're looking for Centimar. You're looking for the early game. Drake is nice. Drake Mihawk, you're able to draw a couple cards. Uh, so maybe we can find Centimar the next turn. Uh, Centimar on turn three isn't terrible because we can play Centimar and activate the effect on the same turn. So it's not a horrible play, but um, a play that we can definitely make to take Tempo back. Uh, there isn't any board wipes or anything like that, so Tempo is everything in this tournament. Um consistency is going to be very important so we're looking for um we're looking for our best opening hands we're looking for making sure our hands are not cluttered we don't want to keep multiple doe fees we definitely don't want to keep a doe fee and a sobble probably um obviously if we have a sin tomorrow that changes everything but things to keep in mind uh, when we're playing blue in this tournament your leader effect is also going to be very important um it is a last ditch effort we don't want to do it very early but at 10 mana when it's uh we can at least recycle half of it next turn. Uh, going to be ideal turns for you to use that effect. Uh, if we can't remove Drake, we can at least bounce him back to your hand and he'll have to actually spend four dot next turn to play it. Gives us another chance to remove it. Uh, at least slows them down just to buy a turn, which could be just enough to get blue over that hump. Um, blue as a whole, I think it is on the downside. Um, we didn't gain too much. We gained Centimar at four, which is huge. Um, but red and purple might have gained just a little too much to be more consistent. Um, I think you have very positive matchups against green. Um, if we can remove Drake, that's the one card. We have answers to the 7-drop kid with Dofi and Sobbles. Um, they don't have a ton of options to deal with uh, a set Dofi or even the Crocodiles. Um, so they should be overwhelmed if we drew about the same uh, tempo-wise. Uh, red, red can take advantage very early. So if we don't have set tomorrow, they can definitely uh, start to storm the board. So board clearing is going to be super important. Your gym bays, your Edward Weevils, these are our tools to deal with early pressure. So we need to play them accordingly. Um, they're also 1K combos, so we have to play to those conditions. Purple is going to be rough, guys. It's going to be rough. Um, it has the nuts. It really does. And there's not a lot of answers in these starter decks, so... Um, play aggressively. Uh, that's what we have to do against purple. We have to take advantage, be er be strong, be aggressive, um, do as much damage as possible. Put them on the back foot. That's that's the best advice blue can give uh, against purple. Um, I would say blue is probably towards the bottom of the list. I think purple and red are still uh, your probably one and two in choice. But I like blue more than I like green, so I'd probably put blue in third. Um, if you were playing blue in the previous tournament, just know that your overheat, the reason it's not on this list, it was um, changed probably to be the correct way. You're not going to be able to overheat to stop Basil Hawkins. I know that was a key deal for the blue-purple-green matchup, um, but I don't think it's very relevant anymore. Uh, Basil Hawkins shouldn't be a huge nightmare uh, for you. So keep that in mind. That's one of the main reasons why we're not running that card. It's still strong, so if you like it, go ahead and give it a try. Love Love Beam for sure is your at four though. Has a chance to draw a card, which is so important in a meta and a format with no draw power. So keep that in mind. Um, that would be it for blue. Um, if you played blue in your uh, previous tournament and you're comfortable with blue, keep piloting blue. There's nothing uh, holding you back. It's uh, one of the more consistent decks, I think. Uh, Gecko Moria, Mihawk, and... Uh, since tomorrow you have a lot of draw options, that's more than most uh, most blue uh, most decks give you credit for. So there is consistency in this deck. It's just if you pull the Sent tomorrow or not, it's it's gonna come down to that sometimes, and uh, you could lose games if we don't pull it. So be wary of that. Go ahead and test the deck. Uh, be confident, and uh, if you're locking in blue, let me know down in the comments. As 
my team's blue player, I'm rooting for you. I want blue to pull out this tournament. Um, let me know down in the comments, guys. Are are we playing something similar? Are we trying different cards? Are our accounts different? Let me know. Are we a fan of the promo crocodile? I am. I like the combo with Gecko Moria. Plus 1,000 combo. Another blocker. I'm not against another blocker. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Uh, let me know if you're into the limited battles. Let me know if this is a format you're interested in. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. All right, guys. Have a good one.